Hello kids, we are going to recite a poem today and the name is Seeing Things. But before we get on to that, I want to ask you something. How many of you are scared of animals? Not many of you. Like I told you in the last time that I am scared of snakes. I am sure some of you are scared of lizards. Yeah, spiders, frogs, ants, tigers. So many things. But let me ask you one thing. How many of you are scared of these things at night? Yeah. Can you look? This is a witch and that's a ghost. Boo! Does it happen that when you turn off the light and you feel that there is something under your bed or maybe something standing behind the door? Why I'm telling you all this? Because today, the poem that we are going to recite, the little boy is also scared of so many things which come up to his mind when the lights are turned off. So, let us recite the poem and see what happens. Seeing Things by Eugene Field I ain't afraid of snakes or toads or bugs or worms or mice and things that others are scared of I think are awful nice. I am pretty brave I guess and yet I have to go to bed for when I am tucked up warm and snug and when my prayers are said mother tells me happy dreams and takes away the light and leaves me lying all alone and seeing things at night. Sometimes they are in the corner. Sometimes they are by the door. Sometimes they are all standing in the middle of the floor. Sometimes they are sitting down. Sometimes they are walking around. So softly and so creepy like they never make a sound. And sometimes they are as black as ink and other times they are white. But the color ain't no different when you see things at night. Let's have a quick recap of the poem again, one more time. I ain't afraid of snakes or toads or bugs or worms or mice. And things that others are scared of, I think are awful nice. I'm pretty brave, I guess, and yet I have to go to bed. For when I am tucked up warm and snug and when my prayers are said, Mother tells me happy dreams and takes away the light and leaves me lying all alone and seeing things at night. Sometimes they are in the corner, sometimes they are by the door, sometimes they are all standing in the middle of the floor. Sometimes they are sitting down, sometimes they are walking around. So softly and so creepy like they never make a sound. And sometimes they are as black as ink and other times they are white. But the color ain't no different when you see things at night. In this poem, children, the little boy is saying that he is not afraid of snakes or toads or bugs or worms or mice. He's not afraid like other children are afraid of these things. He's pretending to be very brave. But what happens at night when mother takes him to bed and tells him good night, happy dreams and turns off the light? He starts feeling scared because that is the time when he starts imagining that there are things standing in the room. Yes, he's scared of those sights. He's thinking there's something standing in the corner or there are so many things standing all around his room. Sometimes he's thinking that they're sitting, they're walking and they are so soft that they're not making any sound. And sometimes they are black and sometimes they are white. But the color is making no difference because he's seeing the things at night. Children, let me tell you something. Whenever you go to bed and after turning off the light, you feel that there is something inside the room and your imagination is playing games with you, be brave. Go and turn on the light. Children, if you are brave enough 
to turn on the light, you will realize that all your fears will go away. They will just vanish like a poof. So what you need to do is get up, turn on the light and see for yourself that there was nothing in the room. And now we come to the first exercise of this chapter. Like always, we take out all the difficult words which are there. So the dictation words. I'm reading them aloud for you and they're going to be on the slide as well. Toads, worms, scared, awful, brave, snug, prayers, corner, creepy, different. Now we come to the next exercise which are the word meanings. Number one, ain't, which means I'm not. The boy says, I ain't afraid, which means I'm not afraid. Number two, toads. Toads are frog-like animals. Number three, awful nice, which means very nice, something which you really like. Number four, snug, comfortable. When mama puts you to bed, she makes you comfortable. So snug means comfortable. And the fifth one, creepy like, which means moving without a sound. Like the snake is creepy. It does not make any sound when it's moving. So creepy like, which means moving without a sound. And now on to the third exercise, which are the rhyming words. Rhyming words are the words which have the similar sound. So let's start. Number one, mice, nice. Number two, bed, said. Number three, light, night. Number four, door, floor. Number five, around, sound. Number six, white, night. And now the fourth exercise, which I always give you as a homework. What you have to do is, just write a very short paragraph on what you are scared of and why. You have to just write the name of the thing that you are scared of and in few lines describe why you are scared of that particular thing. I hope you had a great time reciting the poem, seeing things with me. See you in the next class. Thank you.